Boa tarde, espero que você tenha uma ótima dia. How you doing, gente? Your man Larry, American Brazilian. Uh, saying I hope you guys are having a good day. Listen, um, I have something that is very serious and I'll try to be extremely brief as I talk about this. I saw something in, I saw a couple of things today that, that were very, extremely disturbing to me. Uh, one of which was I saw uh, Brazil's definition of, tour, of sexual tourism. Now, a lot of times when we think sexual tourism, we're thinking pay for play, we're thinking, you know, people that are on, you know, involved in the manga lifestyle that say, look, I just want to go to these countries and be involved with women. Well, they have extended that due to a lot of recent events that have been occurring in the country whereby women are, are made to be exploited. Something that I covered last week about, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was last week, about two gentlemen who are dating coaches who had gone into uh, Sao Paulo and had this, this, this party where they train guys and then they invite, invite women to these parties unbeknownst to the women, they're being used as guinea pigs. And so all of these things are, have culminated, and of course, a whole lot of things uh, 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 that have been, you know, passed has made, has culminated into something extremely volatile. So this is more of an admonition, this is more of a warning to brothers who say, well, I want to go to Brazil, I want to meet me some beautiful women, I want to party, I want to you know, have free sex, I want to do all of this stuff. The definition now of being a sexual tourist or being involved in sexual tourism is anyone who gets their passport and travels to Brazil for the sole purpose of meeting, dating, having a relationship, uh, or, or forming a relationship with a Brazilian woman for the sole purpose of having sex. So if any of that is you, I strongly advise you to think again. I'm, am I saying that as a heterosexual man that you shouldn't, you know, if you encounter a woman and things are mutual between you two consenting adults, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is this, if you're going over there and you're like letting it be known abroad that I'm going over here for the sole purpose of, of sex, be it through relationships, through whatever avenue that you might want to describe to have sex with a woman, then you are going to be considered a sexual tourist. And I am letting you know that they are cracking down on this. Oh, and that is not just in Brazil. This is becoming ubiquitous to other countries. So when you think sexual tourism in Brazil, please think outside of the purview of pay for play. That's just a small portion of it now. They have expanded. So I would be very careful if that is you. If, if, if any of the, 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 the barriers by which one is considered to be by Brazilian government a sexual tourist or a participant in sexual tourism, you might need to rethink or reevaluate either where you want to travel or the reasons by which you are traveling because they are getting very, very serious. That being said, I remember when the when I first heard Passport Bros, I, I, I kind of thought, well, you know, initially I thought about my first time going to Brazil and, you know, talking on the phone with Charles Tyler, having a conversation with him, meeting different guys. And the thing that I will say about those guys is this. They never, the people that I spoke with, Charles Tyler included, exploited anybody. They were never predatory in their approach, in front of the camera or behind the camera, the conversations that he and I had. It was never anything predatory. It was never anything gauche, or anything low class or distasteful. It was always respectful. He was in love with the country. He promoted the women, but he was in love with the country. He was in love with the lifestyle. He was in love with the culture. And it helped me to, I wouldn't say form a love for the culture, the country, the, the people, the body. 
it was inspiring to me because I was just looking for somewhere to visit. And unbeknownst to me that I would come to love this country of Brazil and end up being married to a Brazilian. Um, so I know that he would not be pleased with how things are morphing in, things, what things have morphed into. Um, I saw something today where people are uh, on different social media pages exchanging ideas of how you can secretly put a camera in the room of a woman while you're having sex and then you can share that uh, on different, you know, private, maybe private WhatsApp or, or, or different sites with the other brothers in the group as, as, as some form of twisted enjoyment. That is wrong. That is wrong on so many levels. And this, not, this is not me being a simp. This is not me being, you know, kowtowing to any type of, of, of feminist rhetoric. That's, this is human decency. Listen, there are people who are consenting adults who do certain things, but they keep it between them. You shouldn't ever do anything unbeknownst to somebody and then, you know, in, in a secret way, in a very clandestine and very sleazy way. And then you put that on a forum, be it a small or a large forum, to kind of like show people that you're the man. What kind of crap is that? What kind of junk is that? Who does that? That's wrong. And so people like that, and you know who you are. You get caught in one of these countries, specifically somewhere like Brazil, and they get wind that you're doing stuff like that. You will be fortunate to go to jail if you make it to jail. And so I am formally denouncing the movement of the passport bros. Um, I'm removing myself from it. I will still promote travel. I will still promote Brazil as the country that I love because I do. And I will talk about as things that, I, the things that I've always spoken about. Um, uh, things that I feel like are relevant to what I am what I, what, and what I'm about and, and what's uh, that, that are connected to the country that I love, which is Brazil. But people under the banner of passport bros that are going into these countries, specifically Brazil and other countries, who are just saying, hey, I'm just, I'm, listen, I'm just about smashing. I am telling you, you are going to be in trouble. You are going to, you will be, again, you will be lucky to be arrested. That, that, listen, being arrested is going to be a small, a, just a small part of the issues that you might face. So my whole thing, even a, a couple of videos past is do something to change the narrative. But I don't, I, I, I honestly, I feel like it's too late. I do. I feel like it's too late. Again, I still promote travel. I think guys should travel. I think guys should get out of the country. Excuse me, expand their horizons. It's not where you go, it's why you go there. And so, um, that being said, you really need to reevaluate why you're traveling. And if you do happen to meet someone uh, and you decide that this relationship is going to go into a, a binding relationship that could lead into marriage, promote that. Promote marriage. Promote that. But if you're not about marriage, even if you're about a long-term relationship, something, if you're going to have one person, promote that. But don't promote Oh man, well, you know, we're just going over here, man. We're just going to go smash. I'm going to just knock off this chick, man. I'm, I'm going to put it on video. I'm going to show it to my friends. We're going to kick it. We're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy this. And we're going to see who can do the most at different places in the world. Y'all going to jail. Y'all going to be in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, and it's not a laughing matter. It's, it's a sad commentary that. People like us who, 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 who have faced the brunt of subjugation in so many different forms throughout the years are now using the freedoms that we do have to disrespect another group, specifically people who look like us, even in countries that are not necessary, that we're not necessarily indigenous. So 
Um, yeah, I, I, I might, you know, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but I might lose subscribers. It's cool with it, that's fine. But I'm distancing myself from the Passport Bros movement. And uh, you can consider me an honorable nomad because I wanna move with, uh, I wanna move with honor. And uh, I want other people who, other people rather, men or women, men and women, who do travel to be known, to be people who travel with honor and dignity and respect of themselves and of the culture uh, in the places and the countries that they visit. So that's what I got to say. Follow the conversation by Taj. This is Man Larry, the American Brazilian, said, Atea Brave, Everybody.